Question 90 from the CST Geometry Release Test Questions. In the figure below, line segment AB is tangent to circle O at point A. So it's tangent to circle O, this circle here with center O, at point A. Secant BD, which passes through two points of the circle, uh, intersects circle O at points C and D. They tell us that the measure of arc AC is 70 degrees and the measure of arc CD is 110 degrees. What is the measure of angle ABC? So they want us to find the measure of this angle here. And that we will. Um, first step, let's draw in some radius radiuses, or I guess we, we should say radii. I'm going to draw one from O to D, one from O to A, and one from O to C. And the reason I did that is because I want to be able to label the measures of these angles. This will help me solve this problem. Um, so, being that uh, arc CD has a measure of 110 degrees, uh, the angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle that intersects points C and D on the circle uh, also has a measure of 110 degrees here. And the uh, angle whose center again is at zero uh, and who intersects the edges of the circle at points A and C has the is essentially it has the exact same measure as the secant that it captures as long as that angle's vertex lies on the center of the circle. So here we have a 70 degree angle, okay, um, which this helps us out a lot. Uh, that means that the 70 and 110 are supplementary angles. So line AD uh, is actually a diameter passing through O, even though I drew it a little offset, but uh, the black line, just imagine it passes from A through O all the way to point D. From A through O all the way to point D. So it's a diameter. This is a straight angle of 180 degrees. So this will help us out tremendously. Um, if that's the case, uh, we know that... Uh, let's make sure we have the right color here. Uh, that we know that this line segment here and this line segment here are congruent because they're both radii. So uh, this triangle here is an isosceles triangle. So if I redraw it on the side, kind of in the same position, if this is 110 degrees, then uh, this angle must be congruent to this angle, which means that we have 180 minus 110 degrees. We're left with 70. And if we s divide that by 2, we'll get 35 degrees. For each angle. So each of these angles is 35 degrees. This one here and this one here. Or alternately, this angle here is 35 and this angle here is 35. Okay, so that means the important part is that we know that this angle here is 35 degrees. If we know that angle is 35 degrees and we know that uh, AB is tangent to the circle at point A then we know that this forms a 90 degree angle here. So we already know now that this is 90 degrees and this angle here is 35 degrees. So we have two of the three angles of this big triangle right here. And all we want to do is find the measure of this angle anyways. So if I add 90 plus 35 I get 125. If I then subtract that from 180 I'll get the answer that we're looking for, which this should be 55 degrees. Answer C.